Have you ever felt like this? I want to do something for God. I want to lead people to Jesus. I want to help people grow, but I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't seem to have any. I'm not very good at it. I, I just, I need help. Well, I've got good news for you today. When Jesus calls us to do ministry for him, he promises to give us the power to do that ministry effectively for him. Matthew chapter 4, verse 18 and 19, we've been looking at these verses where Jesus called some young men to become his disciples and to learn to become disciple makers. He says, follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. Follow me, be a disciple, and I'll make you become fishers of men. I'll, make, I'll help you become a disciple maker. There's two things in here I want you to notice. One, this is a process going to help you become fishers of men. You're not going to immediately be good at this. It's going to take time. It's going to take trial and error. It's going to take learning. It's going to take um, getting better at it, studying, working at it. One opportunity after another until you get better, until you learn. It's a process, but it's also a promise. He said, I'm going to make you become fishers of men. I'm going to do it. Your responsibility is follow me. My responsibility is to make you a fisher of men. If you're really following me with all your heart, I'm going to help you become a fisher of men. Uh, Later on in John chapter 15, he said, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I'm the vine, you're the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. It will happen. Bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. You can't really have much of an eternal impact in anybody's life on your own, but with him, you can have a huge impact in a lot of people's lives if you learn to rely on him. Learn to get your power for ministry from Jesus. He's going to help you. It's up to him. It's his responsibility. This is his promise. I will make you become fishers of men. And I want you to see that for those disciples, he's giving basically uh, three training uh, opportunities for them. First of all, he gives them on-the-job training. Luke chapter 9, it says that he gathered them to himself and sent them out and gave them authority, gave them power. Uh, he sent them to proclaim the gospel of his kingdom. So on-the-job training. I encourage you, do everything you can. Try everything. See what works. When I first became a Christian, and, a, and began to be a disciple. I did everything I could. I, I visited poor children on Saturday to try to get, encourage them to ride a bus to my church on Sunday. I, uh, I, I taught a Sunday school class for kids a couple years younger than me. Uh, I was a junior in high school, and they were ninth and 10th graders. I gave my testimony in, in, to other churches. I gave my testimony to my entire high school. I began to share Christ one-on-one -on -one with different members of my sports teams, with different ones of my friends. Uh, my next year in, in college, I had a bunch of eighth grade boys that I was trying to disciple. I uh, learned uh, uh, 120 Bible verses in one year that dealt with everything you could think about for salvation so that I knew what the Bible said if somebody asked a question or what their next step would be. I preached the gospel on the streets in England a couple times a day for seven weeks, and then I would share the gospel one-on-one -on -one with the people that were listening uh, several times a day for seven weeks. I got a lot of on-the-job training. I was a youth evangelist when I was 20. I, uh, I was sharing the gospel in all different types of churches all over the United States. I was over a group of young men and women who were doing door-to-door -door evangelism in New York City, in Manhattan. I did everything I could to try to serve Jesus, try to make disciples, and I got better at it as I did it.
on-the-job training. It's up to you. You follow him. He's going to put you in situations. He's going to give you opportunities. Take those opportunities to learn. There's also on-the-job presence. Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. It's a great commission. Go and make disciples of all types of people, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. Listen, and I will be with you always until the end of the age. You keep doing this until I come again, and when you do this, I will be with you. You know, I've noticed when I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, serving in the power of the Holy Spirit, I say things that are better out of my mouth than what was in my head. I can feel God with me. I can tell God is working. I can see God speaking to the person I'm talking to. I can see it making an impact in their lives. This is him being with us. This is his on-the-job presence. In Mark chapter 16, as the, as the disciples went out and preached the gospel, it says the Lord was working with them. He's there. He's helping you. He gives you the right thought. He helps you not mess this up too bad. He helps you do the right thing, say the right thing. He helps you know when to press for a decision, a commitment. And then there's on-the-job power. Jesus, his last words to his disciples were, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost is upon you to be my witnesses. You're going to receive the power. When you get saved, you have the Holy Spirit, but you need to learn to surrender your life to the Holy Spirit Tap into that power that is available through the Holy Spirit. As you follow Jesus, as you love Jesus, as you uh, forsake other things to follow Jesus, as you invest in the lives of people, tap into the power of God, abide in Him. Let the, the life of the vine throw, flow through you as a branch and produce spiritual fruit. You can be a disciple, and I want you to know you, you can make disciples because he gives you the power to do it. He promises, I'm going to make you become the fishers of men. Our goal in these videos is very simple. We want you to be a disciple, and we want to help you make disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ.